So we know that we have a housing and building crisis and we know we have a climate crisis. Put those two together, we need to build more. And then you come down to the fact that we've been building with wood, but nature's fastest growing carbon fiber is timber bamboo. When you put bamboo and wood together in an engineered solution, you can have a stronger material, you can change the way we built, you can complete your construction faster, you can lower the cost of your construction, you can reduce the waste, and then the resulting building can be thermally and acoustically higher performing and provide long-term benefits to the owner, whether it's a rental apartment or it's an owner-occupied. So because of the strength of timber bamboo um, and engineered with wood products, we have been able to figure out how to span a cavity with about 80% less of the traditional vertical members that you would have in a typical construction wood frame building right out of the gate you're at least 20 percent more efficient if you were to build a like building and again that is directly contributing to the fact that our framing factor is so much less if you're able to see into this wall to visually observe how much insulation can actually go into this without all the studs inside so one of the great constraints we have in building today against a huge demand to build is we don't have the labor so one of the things that is baked into our process is this very simple way to do the vertical framing. The framing crew simply peels off the top panel, puts it in its numbered position, and places them in position all the way around. It's a paint-by-numbers installation. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm the Director of Fabrication here at BAMCOR, and today we are going to cut this panel. Let's go cut it. So after we manufacture the panels, we still have to custom fabricate them to the individual job as part of our industrialized construction. And to do that, we use a one-of-a-kind machine that prints on one end all of the instructions that the field installation crew will need to see, and it will cut the panel to millimeter accuracy to fit the exact design of the vertical framing. The general metric that we use is it's about 50% faster than conventional framing. So we're a little sentimental in our office. We actually have the very first BAMCOR building that we did. The entire 1,700 square foot house on one single flatbed. Pad was prepped by nine in the morning and the walls were up and essentially ready to start to uh, frame your trusses the very second day, so the very next day. A month later, the house was completely dried in and ready to live. The affordable crisis for housing is now Freddie Mac just released a report saying that the United States alone is four million single family units short in the affordable sector. To make residences more affordable, you have to both lower and improve the construction cost and you have to lower and improve the operating cost. Because most of the time in the affordable market, it's a rental market. The value has to occur not just in construction, but over time. So if you're lowering the thermal costs, you're improving the acoustical environment, and if you're improving the air leakage, just those alone give the occupants a better environment and the owner a less expensive building to operate, and that translates to lower costs for affordable rentals.